Hey guys, this is going to be a Flash tutorial using Flash CS4 for doing an image transition for multiple images for JPEGs for your website. So one image will transition into another image, so to say. <clears throat> First thing you want to do is go to Flash Action Script 2.0. <clears throat> I'm going to move fairly quickly only because I have so much time to cover all this. If your website doesn't, or if your Flash doesn't look like mine, go up to Window. Go to Workspace and make sure it's Designer Mode. And then yours will look like mine except for the white box I already changed because that's what I pre-built my images at in Illustrator. Um, another thing is, since you're working with multiple layers, multiple images, and yours is going to start way up here, you might not have enough room to cover all your images. So click in between the two until you get the up-down cursor. When you do, click hold, drag down, and release until you're happy with where it's at. So I'm not happy with that. I'm going to bring it down a little bit more. I'm good with that. So next thing we need to do is import our images. Go to File, Import, Import to Library. I have my file saved under iPhoto on my Mac. What I'm going to do is go to iPhoto. And I'm click on the designs I want to use. I'm going to click on one of them, go down to the last one I want to use, hold the shift button, click, highlights all of them in that row, import to library. Now all my images are right here on the right hand side where it says the image is 2. I have them all set to 250 by 250 on the pixels. You can change that by editing and go with the image size of your JPEGs change your frame rate to 25 frames per second and the rest is good now let's get started we have four images we need four layers so come over to this tab over here on the far left with the little folded down left corner click until you have your four images now come over to what your first image that you want to start with it could be any which one that you want to go in your order of click and drag doesn't have to be in the box because we can come over here to the X axis, click zero, go to the Y and click zero, click in the gray area, it's centered. Once it's centered, click on the image, drag down, convert to symbol. You're going to want to layer or name your layers and name your symbols according to your JPEG images. Graphic, keep it as graphic. Like I said, I'm going to rush through this, sorry, but click OK. Once we do that, we need to come up here to our eye, show our hide all layers, and we need to close this one down. And I'm going to make a mistake on purpose here real quick. Go to your next image, click, drag it in that area. You can see it's not dragging. That's because we're highlighted still on the first layer. Click your next layer, drag that image into, into the vicinity. And if you mess up and click in this gray area, you're going to see, wait, where did my X and Y go? Just click on the image, and it'll bring it up. X, 0, Y, 0. Click in the gray area. Click on your image. Go to Convert to Symbol. Label it. Keep it graphic. Click OK. Hide it. Close the eye out on it. Highlight your next layer. And... Go to the next image that you want to use. Throw it in there. Go back to your X, 0, Y, 0. Click in the gray area. Click on your image. Go to Convert to Symbol. Name it. Keep it graphic. Go OK. Hide your eyes. Highlight the last layer. Go to your next final image or oh, cancel. Click and drag. Throw it in there. 0, Y, 0, click in the gray area, click on your image, go to convert to symbol, name it, label it. This is my first ever tutorial and my I got four hours invested on Flash, so if anybody sees what I'm doing wrong that should see something a little bit better and can give me pointers, go for it. I'm going to go ahead and unhide all these images and we're going to get started on the good stuff now. So these are these are our frames per second. I'm going to go ahead and fluff a number real quick, a short number of what I'm going to use. So I can show you later and you can get more practice. 
on developing these and getting used to your hotkeys. Now click on a Mac function F5 or just F5 I think on a PC and it, you'll get all this gray area we're generating a timeline. Now I'm going to start my first image 60 frames per second so people can see it when they launch the website and I'm going to hit function F6 on the Mac Oop, I think I did it too many times command Z to back up if you do it too many times or command Z to do what you know redo things um, 60 and I'm gonna go another 60 works for me you can come up with your own numbers experiment with it but F6 again function F6 now we have something to work with I'm gonna drop back 15 because these numbers work for me once again and I'm gonna click on that highlighted area and I'm going to create a classic tween. Now, I'll show you more in a minute. But continue on, go five frames per second over, click on that, same way, insert blank keyframe, and now you can see that <clears throat> we go from one image to another image, but we do it rapidly. So we need to transition, that is what we're trying to do. So to transition it, we click in this black circle very important come down to your image click on your image come over here to color effect style alpha and you want your percentage to be at zero you can see if it's how it starts fading look at the image it's fading you need to keep it to zero because that will give you your solid image now when we've done that we can kind of view it see what happens our image is fading from one image to another image and there we go now in between my two layers I like to go 30 frames per second, which is going to put me to 155, where I'm going to start my next one. And function F6 brings us that keyframe. Now I'm going to go 60 again, which is going to put me to 215. And I'm going to click on there, make sure my timeline marker is on there. Function F6 again is going to bring me up that keyframe. Drop back 15. 200, oh, make sure you're on the right layer where your blue highlight is, click, create classic tween. I'm going to go five over on the same layer, click, insert blank keyframe, go back again to the black circle, come down to your image, very important, click your image, if not, you're going to see this and go, well, what do I need to change? Click your image, go to style, alpha, zero so we're good on that one now we're gonna do the same thing again we're gonna go 30 we're gonna go 30 from 220 in between our two layers which is gonna bring us to 250 click actually we're not gonna click we're gonna function F6 to create our next one and I'm going to go 60 over. Now you can see, I told you I wanted you to get more practice. You can see if I go 250 and 60 is 310, I don't have enough room here to do it. So we need to extend our timeline. And I'm just going to extend it out for right now to actually 350 I'm going to do. I'm going to click in there, hold, drag. If it doesn't come up, do it again. Hold, drag, release, function F5, extend that timeline. Come back to where we started, 250 and 60 was 310. Click there, function F what? F, F6, you're right, for those who got it, congratulations. That's the important one. Go back 15, click again, create classic tween, extend out five, insert the blank keyframe. Go back to our black dot once again, click that black dot, go to our JPEG, Color effect, alpha, 0%, good to go. Let's do our next one. We're going to start 30 over from 315 is 345. I'm going to give you some more practice here. Function F6 gives us our keyframe. Now I know I want 60 seconds on top of that, so that's going to bring us to 405. And if you overextend, I don't know how to fix that for you. So I don't know how to reduce an overextension, so don't think that you can highlight your timeline. And when you first see your timeline, it's probably going to be in the 590 mark or something like that, I think. But the more you extend your timeline, the more it grows. So don't think that you're limited. You aren't. So now that we've done that, we're going to come back here, click in our black circle. 
I think I got to, uh, wait a minute. That's our first one. Somehow I messed up and went backwards, so. This was 30 from our layer two. This was 30 to 345. We needed 60 to get us to four, uh, which was to 405. Somehow I got rid of that. Highlight function F5 extends our timeline. And in the same area, I'm gonna go ahead and do function F6 to get my last keyframe. Drop back 15. Create the tween. Click on our black dot. Go down to our image. Color effect, alpha, 0%. Now let's play it and see how it looks. So go up to control, test movie. And expand it. You can see our first image is playing. Now it's fading out into our next one. That's image number two, image number three, image number four, and then we're probably gonna get a quick white spot and fade out, jump back to image number one, which isn't bad. You can play with it and fix it if you choose. Last step we're gonna need to do is save it, go to file, save as, and then, uh, then you're gonna wanna publish it and then when you publish it, you can do a publish preview, get all your HTML coding off of it, and upload it to your server like Dreamweaver. I use Firefox, I'll go to View. And when I'm at View, all I need to do is go down to Page Source. You can do this on any website, any website whatsoever, and get the HTML code. So here's the HTML code for everything we just developed. And there it is. You can figure out how to put it into your head section on your closing divs and what have you. Put it where you need to put it. But uh, that'll be another tutorial. There's not a whole lot of time. Thanks. This was my first tutorial ever doing. Um, first time on Flash. So I hope you guys liked it. I hope somebody learned something out of it. Shoot me an email if uh, you're a designer or somebody that knows more about this program that has worked with it. And let me know what I can do to better simplify things on my own. So thanks a lot, guys, and uh, have a great day. See ya.